while most of us are still in bed. This is normally when I'm just about on the end. Angela Stevens is making her rounds. I'm driving my fuel surveys to get local competitor prices. She checks the prices at gas stations around Lehigh Acres. All right, that's that. Before unlocking the coolers and rolling back covers to open her own shop by 4 a.m. During these early morning drives, she's usually one of the only cars on the road. So this cluster of cruisers caught her attention. There were seven deputies parked at one particular time at that location at one time. Outside a gas station on Lee Boulevard, Angela observed seven cruisers, what looked like deputies just hanging out. I can understand one, two, maybe even three, but not seven. And it's not the only time she's seen this. Uh, it happens frequently, very frequently. That has her worried. That my community is at risk for crime. <laughs> But was this just a coincidence? Over six weeks, the NBC2 investigators went on patrol, more often than not finding the same thing. Deputies pulling into a fast food restaurant. Already in and in line. Parked at a superstore and hanging out at gas stations in Lehigh Acres. Yep, number three in the parking lot. The gas station stops we spotted took more than 20 minutes. We watched this deputy sit parked for more than two hours. Our deputies literally are, are roving in, in, in the car and that's their that's their office so to speak. Then this must be the water cooler. They're human beings too. We're gonna have general chit chat, talk about our favorite teams and families. But Lee County Sheriff's Office spokesman Larry King says there's very real work going on. Writing reports, doing mandatory reading, even discussing plans for serving warrants. Is it reasonable that that could happen at a gas station? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, we don't go hiding in, in a corner or something like that. King says these are certainly not the only deputies on duty. And then you're going to have other units that are going to come into that area that are not specifically assigned to what we call the Bravo District. In fact, when we were out in the early mornings of October 4th, the sexual predator unit was also in the area. This gives you 111 calls between 5 o'clock and midnight. Looking at the log, and the calls taper off after midnight. Is Lehigh Acres well covered? Lehigh Acres very well covered. But after seeing this most mornings, Angela needed some reassurance. Just let them know, hey, that we're watching. 